Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. Today begins the week that we normally take in May, but things got hectic in May and we weren't able to do it. Now, late July, by the time this video comes out, it's probably gonna be August. It's time to go fishing. We always take a week off and try to put catfish in our freezer to take us over through the winter. We really just really enjoy catfish. We are fixing the boat up. The trailer's got some issues because if you remember back in the winter time, we had an ice storm and it crashed that shed down over there on top of this boat. When it done that, it mashed the trailer a little bit. It didn't hurt the boat. I had to repair the trolling motor just a little bit, just take some screws loose and readjust. It didn't cost me nothing, but we're fixing the boat trailer back right now and we'll be off. We're gonna head out to the lake, we're gonna set some trot lines, and we're gonna catch our own bait. So if you're interested in learning how to catch fish for yourself without having to buy bait, plenty of meat to see you through, go with us, let's go. Time to get a new tire on there. This one's bald as a bone. We found us a shady spot here. We just got out on the lake. I'm surprised there's not more people out here, but it is so hot, very hot. So I don't know how our fishing's gonna be, but the people that would be out here would be playing anyway. They wouldn't be really fishing, but we're gonna see how this goes. Now, the way we plan it is to catch a bait, bait a hook, and catch catfish. It's just that simple. What you got, Dave? A shell cracker. Nice. I got four boys here fishing wide open, trying to catch a fish. You'd think with four of these boys here, we'd get us something. We've got several already, actually. I've got my pole in the water, too. Oh, Dave, what's going on? Oh, yeah. That's a long ear sunfish. Nice. Joe wins the prize for the smallest. When you're fishing for bait, that's actually a good thing. How'd you even get a hook in his mouth, son? <laughs> Daddy finally caught something here. Nice big old bluegill. Now these big bluegill like this, a lot, most of the time we don't actually use for bait. That will go home and go in the pan. Good job, Matt. <laughs> Whoa, both of them. We got us a double. Whoa, nice. Good job, Dave. That is a shell cracker. Shell otherwise known as a red ear sunfish. Oh, Caleb. That's a big one. Bring him in, boys. Whoa, it's another shell cracker. Good job, Matt. I hear thunder behind us. Hopefully we ain't fixing to get soaking wet. There's another one. Long ear sunfish. I got something right here known to Tennesseans as a limb brim. I'd rather not break my line. I felt a fish bite it and he took me right into that. He got away, but the limb didn't get away. I think I'll release this one back into its native habitat. <laughs> Good job, my boy. Red ear sunfish. You can see the red ear right there. Hear thunder in the background. Hoping that it don't hit us. It's hard to video up close, ain't it? Mm -hmm. 
bluegill, more bait. I know it looks bright and sunny, but there's a big storm fixing to hit. Right on the other side of that hill right there. The trees are starting to talk. The thunder's starting to rock. We'll see how it goes. The boys are still fishing wide open, but we're fixing to have to probably shoot up in there. Maybe. I just heard a tree fall. That ain't what I'm wanting to hear when I'm planning on maybe having to go for shelter. <laughs> uh, these boys don't care no storms coming. They're catching fish. Sounds like the storm might be blowing around us. We're not sure. Sky still don't look the best. <laughs> no, it don't. He's so little you didn't know. I'm gonna pan around and show you the guys the lake. Well, this is just a cove in the lake. Wind's starting to get up. Still catching fish no matter what the weather's doing. All right, the rain is coming, I do believe. We're fixing to probably go over and see if we can't find a bluff or something to get under. Right there at that angle, you can see what's falling. We are getting some stuff. Well, we got in behind this, pulled the boat right in here, sunk the tr trolling motor right into the mud. And what we've got is a little protection. It's raining out there. Can't hardly see it in the video, probably. It ain't really getting in here too much. But if it comes enough of a rain, it'll get us anyway. And now it's a coming down pretty good. <laughs> Joel don't quit no matter what. <laughs> I'm huddled in here under a tree. David's hanging on to a tree for dear life in the gale force winds, which are probably like four miles an hour. No, probably like ten. Straight up behind us is a steep hill and the trees just go up we probably have a hundred feet of protection right up there like a big wall a little bit of rain is working its way around here to us but nothing like what's out there that's getting soaked out there and we're really you can see my britches just a spot here and a spot there so we found a nice spot uh, according to the direction of the wind so <laughs> we're gonna ride this one out <laughs> bailing out David and myself found a little rock bluff here ain't room for many people but hopefully there's no copper headed water moccasins in here rattlers come on up boy maybe there's room for you <laughs> always room for a little boy ain't there <laughs> you like your little bluff hideout, buddy? Yeah. That's the good thing about living amongst the hills and the hollers. Find you a place to hide from the rain. If anybody knows what that is, drop down in the comments and let me know. He's got 10 trillion legs, I know that, and he don't seem to sting or bite, or at least not yet. I'll let him go. He's got all 10 trillion legs working, I'll tell you that. All right, it's quit raining pretty much. We're gonna head back out. What you got, Kev? Boy, that's a big one. Nice. Big because you caught it. <laughs> In the ice chest with it. Nice. Now what you got to say for yourself, boy? Big one. And not because I caught it either, huh? Nice. Can you get that hook out? I think so. Folks, this is a six-year-old boy that can bait his own hook, catch his own bait, take the fish off his own hook. Well, I think he can. 
I did. You hooked this one good, didn't you, boy? Yep. He won't come out. He won't come out. Well, we'll get him out. Somebody will get him out for you. Don't let, don't let him poke you. Yeah, I won't. Somebody give me some pen on pliers here. I can't get this putty out. You're sitting on the thing with pliers in it. Get out. <laughs> well, there you go. Now I can get it. You know how to use pliers, son? Yeah. I'll be. You do know how. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. The hook? Yep. Your because fingers are dirty, son. Yep, I had to dig through the worm thing. <laughs> now we're using cut bait. We threw it on the ice, let them get good and stiff, and now we're just cutting the bait up and putting it on the hooks. Catfish, they don't. It don't have to be alive. Now some some catfish seem to prefer live bait, but uh, in order to make this stretch farther. We're doing it this way, and I'm not gonna go into great detail on the trot lines. I've got trot line making videos. Some people always comment every time I do a video like this and say that's illegal, and maybe it is illegal in your state. So don't just try trot lining without looking up in your local regulations of your state what the regulations are for trot lining. I would say it's probably different in every state but we are legal what we're doing so that i know for a fact and i wouldn't be putting it on social media if i wasn't legal so anyway we don't have time to sit with a fishing pole and fish for enough catfish to feed us through the winter so this is how we do it because we really we need to be back on the farm working so this this way right here all night long this will be fishing for us while we are sound asleep that's the way we like it if you don't know what a trot line is i'll try to remember to leave a link in the head of the comments how we build our trot lines this might be something if it's legal in your state that you want to do just one uh, tip that i'll give you about baiting a trot line bait it with a lot of hook showing so that when he grabs it the hook is readily able to catch him if you bury that hook in there he's gonna steal your bait he's not gonna get caught all right we got three lines out we're gonna hit the road head to the house we'll be back in the morning first thing you'll see it in about eh, one second All right, this is the next day, and the moment of truth has arrived. I'm gonna be your cameraman today, and we're gonna see what these boys can do. I like to let the boys run the lines because it's, it's fun when you feel that fish on there. It's a lot of fun. Let's see what we got. We got us a fish on here, you say? Yeah. All right, here we go. He must be out there a ways. Oh no, now, there's a dead gar, so we know that wasn't what was pulling and it wasn't beyond that. So we definitely lost a big one. That's sad. Well, looks like we're gonna have a gar, how to clean a gar video coming up. <laughs> she better gonna fit in the ice chest. He is a good sized fish. <laughs> There we go. Nice big old catfish. Finally. In the ice. Get him when you can, Matt. We got two things going on. We can tie it around a limb accidentally, and there's a catfish on right beside. We don't want it to get away. There we go. Flathead. Good job, boys. All right, checking out number two. Matt, did you whack Dave in the head? Oh boy. How'd that feel, Dave? Uh, bad. <laughs> yeah, probably smashed bad. All right, here we go. Hopefully we got something on this line. There he is. 
channel. He's trying to go to the bottom of the lake is what he's doing. You get him? All right. Nice big one. Good job, boys. We got a strange one here, boys. Big old snapping turtle and a catfish together right here. This is strange. We want the fish, he's a flathead. I'm not real fond of the tur turtle. Somebody grab the line. This is where the two trot lines come together. See that? We got one trot line coming in here. We talked about that may cause an issue. <laughs> Never dreamed it'd be this kind of issue. We got something on this guy. All right, open that ice chest up. Right. I'm gonna try to let the turtle go. I don't really want the turtle to go. But he's he's very angry and not happy with me at all for being upset. Hold that one. Yeah, he's trying to bite. <laughs> and he can bite. <clears throat> he's got a pretty good biter. <clears throat> might knock this pliers out of my hand. Yeah, he's uh, not happy. Not happy. <clears throat> Hook broke. All right. Go live your life. Go live your life. All right. I can feel the fish on. I'm going to turn it over to the boys. Grab the line, Dave. Joel is the cameraman now. We kind of got swapped around whenever the big turtle fish fiasco took place. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no net necessary for this little thing. All right. What is that? Catfish. Boy, he's cutting a shine down there. You think you can net one like that, Caleb? Maybe. Oh, man. Channel catfish will wind it up. Get it way down under him, come straight up. I think you're gonna get him. I think you got him. Keep pulling this along and then it'll come right here to me. All right. Ow, he got me. He sliced me open right there, right between the fingers. Oh man, that's gonna hurt for a long time. No more fish? Last fish of the day got me good. In a very bad spot. You can't get a Band-Aid right there between your fingers like that. Woo, that hurts. Anyway. We're gonna head the house and clean fish. We've got an ice chest full. All right, if you ever get speared with a catfish or sliced like I am here, take care of yourself. ASAP, triple antibiotic ointment. These fish have that slime coating on them and it can get you infected big time. Even lake water, just any kind of, you just need to take care of yourself. I use triple antibiotic ointment and take care of it. All right, folks, we made it home. I would like to say that my finger has stopped hurting. That If you get that triple antibiotic on, ointment on there quick, it will just start killing that infection. And within 24 hours, you're good to go. But anyway, we're gonna start pulling the fish out and see how many we got here. Caleb here is gonna help me. There's a big flat head. Look at this big guy. Whoa. We got, we got, uh, measuring tape on this thing. The table has a tape measure on it. This dude is 26 and a half inches long. Woo, big boy. I think this is the one that got me. Look at this big guy. Woo, he's pretty too. I like them golden colored ones. He's gonna slide off. Dig in there, boy. Ow. He's 
trying to slide off to. Uh, let's see how long this gar is. <laughs> He's longer than the tape. He's over 36 inches. That's longer than the measuring tape. So we don't have room on the table for him and his buddy here. But we did get two of them. Two big old gar. They were in this ice water, nice and cold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine catfish. So we're pretty tickled with our catch. This is one day. We're gonna we're gonna keep our lines baited pretty much all week. See what we get. We're gonna do a cleaning video on how we clean these catfish. But for now, that's all we've got for you. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.